Well, good morning. This is uh, Ian R. Crane. It's the morning of Tuesday, 12th of June, 2018. And I don't know if you guys were watching what was unfolding yesterday at uh, Tinker Lane here in uh, North Nottinghamshire. But what started out as a relatively routine lock-on in front of the gates um, ended up with uh, two surfers either side of the entrance here, effectively uh, not just blocking the well site, but uh, blocking the uh, entire A634 here uh, between Blythe and Barnby Moor. And uh, once again, we saw the police uh, call out the uh, fire service to facilitate the removal of a protector from the top of a vehicle. And the it has to be said that the uh, police, the Nottinghamshire police, did not exactly cover themselves in glory yesterday. And uh, as maybe part of a reaction to that, there's a, another lock on here, or should I say a flock on. <laughs> so um, let's go and have a, a chat. There's a couple of people here who uh, regular viewers will be familiar with because I believe that the last time you uh, featured on my live stream, you also had your arms in a tube. Oh yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Making a habit of it. Okay, so, and you're back here at Tinker Lane last, well, back here last yeah. time you were at Misson Springs. That's right, yeah. Okay, so obviously you had such a blast that you've decided <laughs> to do it again. Yeah, making it a hobby. Yeah, a hobby, yeah, yeah. So what, what brings you to uh, Tinker Lane today? Um, pretty much the same reasons as last time uh, we did this it's because uh, we need to be able to protest against the fracking industry um, and protests are being severely restricted by the police. Uh, we're not being allowed to slow walk lorries. Um, there's people are being arrest, ran, arrested randomly for virtually nothing. Um, so we felt we had to resort to, to this, to locking on. Well, I guess it's also a case of, sort of taking advantage uh, while you can um, uh, because it, I think there's a distinct possibility that uh, iGas and uh, the other unconventional gas companies all try and follow suit with Ineos and uh, Quadrilla and Yukov. But so, you know, what, what are your thoughts on the fact that these companies having to resort to injunctions to effectively be able to operate? It seems a, a really heavy-handed way to try and control what what are effectively reasonable protests you know we're entitled to protest against an, an industry that uh, the majority of the country don't want there's no social license for this industry um, and people are being blocked from effectively campaigning against it and protesting and to, to resort to an injunction just a blanket injunction seems really extreme so we've got uh, obviously two well sites here in North Nottinghamshire, but uh, obviously Ineos are also looking to establish well sites in North Derbyshire and South Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's all over the sort of North Derbyshire, South Yorkshire region. Um, Hart Hill has just got the go-ahead from the planning inquiry. There's quite a few sites that are really close together, aren't there, in the South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire area. We've got the inquiry starting next week for Marsh Lane. So all to play for. So uh, yeah. yesterday there was quite a number of people here, but it was a, a warm day well, until the shower. That, was it hail or rain that came down? It looked pretty severe rain. It looked pretty yeah. severe, didn't it? I hope it's not going to do that today. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the forecast says no rain, but uh, yeah. we'll take that with the proverbial pinch. <laughs> yeah. But at the moment, there's no uh, police presence here, so uh, yeah. may maybe after yesterday, yeah, they've run out of overtime. I think they're giving themselves a day off, aren't they? Well, if they give themselves a day <laughs> off, then um, I guess we uh, live to fight another day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, thanks for coming out here today. And uh, you look reasonably comfortable. Yes, I am very comfortable. Yeah. Did you, you catch up on some sleep first thing? Yeah, we've had a bit of hypnotherapy, <laughs> courtesy of Debbie, yeah. Relax us. Very good. Well, well, enjoy your day. We'll yeah. catch up with you through yeah. the day. See you later. Okay, and uh, just across on the other side of uh, this device is Harriet. Uh. <laughs> so, Harriet, again, second time. 
You, you, you and Anne, do you, do you meet any at any other occasion or only when your arms are in a tube? <laughs> we do occasionally meet each other without our arms in tubes, yeah. Yeah, occasionally. But obviously the, um, the experience of uh, Miss and Springs, I've lost track of time. How many? That was quite a few weeks ago, wasn't it? March. Yeah. March, yeah, so three months ago or so. Yeah. But obviously that experience didn't put you off exercising your right to peaceful protest. Uh, no, well, I don't think they can take that away from us. So the industry are bad. Oh, someone's trying to deliver a loo. Oh, I, I, there's a loo truck just arrived here. I guess, uh, he won't be getting in there today, will he? He won't. Uh, anytime soon. Not so, anytime soon. No. So I, I hope that their loos aren't um, overflowing. Well, we can only hope, can't we? Well, well actually, I hope they are, but <laughs> I didn't say that. No, no. no. So obviously, um, you know, once again, we are in a situation here where we're possibly in the last few weeks of being able to protest without yeah. threat of an injunction. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on the, these industry injunctions? I, well, I think it shows desperation. I think they wouldn't be doing this and going to all that expense if we weren't unnerving them. So good. Not today, you're not there. Good. Yeah. Well, you, you guys um, are not the usual suspects. I mean, the police have their terminology to identify uh, what they call the alphas and the nationals. But you, you guys are local. We are, yeah, yeah. Local sheep. We are very local sheep. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I mean, dare I ask? You know, would you do this again? Yeah. And yeah. you'll keep doing it until I guess get the message, I'm well, guessing. somebody's got to, yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's, it's great that you guys are here and a fantastic Don't initiative. The oh, and uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I have to right. show the... You have to show Horace. The full... The full, have to train them. Oh. The full nativity oh. here or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's uh, spin around. This is the... Uh, support crew here and as you see this is ad plant so uh, not necessarily essential infrastructure but uh, no nonetheless I'm sure that uh, is more than a routine call uh, maybe they're running out of loo rolls <laughs> yeah Mind you, Stephen Bowler may need a lot more of these loo rolls. <laughs> when I guess uh, look as though they're running out of money, of course they do a stock issue. So you give me the hundred pound, and I'll say, "Oh, you can get it another day." No, no, I've only got one day. So you give me the hundred pound. Well, that is a little bit. Uh, of an unfortunate consequence that uh, you know the local contractor is contracted to come in today and uh, you know claiming that you know he loses the money and it is unfortunate and of course the intention is not to have uh, such an impact on the local uh, business community but there's a degree of inevitability and the, the reality is that this industry is not welcome anywhere and you know people like harriet and Anne here they've done their research they know precisely why they have committed to put their arms in a tube here and frankly there are more people lining up to do the same and you know these are not the usual suspects and as the usual suspects are arrested and uh, bailed away then others will step into their place it's whatever it takes to get the British government and the industry to recognise that unconventional hydrocarbon exploitation will never be accepted by a significant chunk of the electorate. And whilst somehow the Tories may find that they're able to get back into office, the reality is that the opposition to unconventional hydrocarbon exploitation isn't going away and this is a serious thorn in their side and of course yesterday I talked about Jim Ratcliffe and the absurdity of Sir Jim getting his knighthood whilst he is not only one of the country's most significant polluters but uh, if he doesn't get his way then he 
basically picks up sticks and uh, takes his company headquarters to a lower taxation environment. Now, I got to say that, uh, you know, there's no question, Jim Ratcliffe is an extraordinary entrepreneur. And, you know, these are talents that uh, the nation needs. But uh, Jim, you know, you are going down the wrong route. You are seeking to perpetuate an industry which relies on late 19th, early 20th century technology. There is no need for hydrocarbons in anything like the volumes that they are being sucked out of the ground. And Jim, you know, with your entrepreneurial skills, why not take a look at hemp? Although I'm sure that if you did do that, then you might find a little bit of opposition from the hydrocarbons brethren. But you know, Henry Ford knew the power and the capability and the capacity of hemp. And so do the globalists. But they want to maintain an artificial hydro carbon driven fiat economy and they know fine well that uh, eventually eventually something will come in to take that away and hemp could have come in 60 years ago and removed any probability of hydro what's up Dennis newsflash I gas shares have dipped oh wow that how sad apparently I gas shares have taken a dump dip uh, well, a dip, yeah, rather than a dump. They've gone down this morning. They dropped by just over 1%. Hey, every little helps, whatever it takes. But, you know, Jim, with your skills and your teams around the world, there is no question that you have the intellectual and technological expertise to literally take the forefront in developing a hemp based industry and looking for natural alternatives to hydrocarbons and then 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 you would earn the respect of the country right now the only people you have respect for are those that you or that have respect for you rather are those whom you have uh, significantly helped enhance their bank balance and as you yourself acknowledge in one of your videos that I saw, you know, occasionally, occasionally your acolytes do say no. Now, I know you made that observation with your tongue in your cheek, but uh, how about encouraging true entrepreneurial spirit within your own organization and looking at alternatives to the high dependency on hydrocarbons and not least and particularly fracked gas? So, well, meanwhile, here at uh, Tinker Lane, um, the uh, camp is still about 150 metres or so down the road. And, uh, you know, the local people have uh, come out to support, as you can see in the background here. And, um, you know, whatever it is that uh, you are concerned about in your area, the reality is that there are some 15 to 20 million people who live in the potential sacrifice zone across the north of England, being targeted by the likes of Ineos and Igas and Quadrilla and a few other uh, minor cowboy outfits. And if you haven't, if you, thank you. If you haven't read the uh, report produced by Professor Peter Stiles, uh, uh, where he expresses his concerns about the potential seismic disruption as a result of fracking beneath the old coal seams of northern England and uh, down into the East Midlands, then you really need to do so. Now I heard through the grapevine that uh, Ineos had requested a meeting with Professor uh, Stiles and uh, true to form, they tried to uh, dismiss his, his concerns, but uh, my inside information is that he held his ground and you know if these guys are true engineers true geologists then they will take his concerns very very seriously and even if they don't then the population who live in these sacrifice zones certainly will do
So, well, that's it for me today. I'm going to uh, obviously be providing some support here uh, to the um, lock-on crew, and I will be back tomorrow at 8.30. So, uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, you know, please help to share this around because the usual Facebook medium uh, appears to be blocked. So, uh, I'm not, it seems, able to post anything on that medium, uh, or, and the only person that can see it, if I do post, is me which is why I've resorted to uh, another Facebook medium today. But the alternative uh, is YouTube, because thus far, YouTube seems to be uh, quite relaxed at giving me free reign. So thanks again, and I'll catch with you tomorrow. Whoop. So a final... Uh, Final word from the lock on crew here. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> That's all I would have